Tired of losing or trying to organize paper note cards? Let's learn how to create digital note cards and outlines using the notebook tool in EasyBib. First, make sure you log in to EasyBib. If you have not already created a project for your research assignment, do so now. It is best to use the notebook tool when you have already cited at least one of your sources that you will be using in your research. One of the options under your project's name is called Notebook. To open the notebook, click this button. This will bring you to this screen. The main blank area in the center is where your note cards will display as you create them. To create a note card, click the orange new note button. This will bring up this digital card format. Give your card a title, a keyword that describes what the note on this card is about. Then use the drop down menu to choose which source this note came from. That's why it's important to have the source cited before you begin your notes. Let's say for instance, I am researching the artist Chuck Close. Perhaps I am going to give a note about his legacy, why he is remembered. So I might title my card, Legacy, and choose which source it came from. And now I'm ready to take my note. You can decide how much information you would like to include and where you would like to put it. If you are using a direct quote, add it here. Make sure to include quotation marks. Are you paraphrasing? Add that here. Use keywords to make the note truly your own and not a rip off from the source you are using. Remember, if your paraphrase sounds too much like the original, it is considered plagiarism, even if you cite the source. You can even do both, add a direct quote and then paraphrase it underneath. You also have tools to organize this note card, like changing your font color, highlighting and adding bullets. I'm going to go ahead and add a direct quote that I copied from a source about why we still remember Chuck Close's work today. I'm going to paste it in. If I wanted to, I could paraphrase it underneath, but I really liked the quote because it sums up why Chuck Close is remembered in the art world today. Feel free to add comments or modifiers, like a page number if you have one. This is your card. Add what works for you. Maybe you want to remember to use this note in a particular part of your assignment. That reminder can go in the comments. Clicking the plus sign next to organize will bring up organizational options. A very useful one is changing the color of this card. It can be very helpful to make all cards on a particular topic the same color, so you can see as you research if you have enough information for each topic. Always choose Save Note when you are finished. This will add your note card to the notebook for this project. As you add more and more notes, they will also get added to this page. Be aware that when you add a new note card, it often displays on top of an existing one. Simply click and drag the card to another place. You can click and drag your cards around the screen to also help you organize your ideas. On the left, you have viewing and organizing options. List view, for example, shows you your cards in full list form instead of shortened picture form. Choose what works for you. Need to create an outline from your notes? You can also do that in the notebook screen. On the right, you will see outline options. New bullet adds new Roman numerals to your outline. The arrows determine where you want the bullet to go. You can add your own topic bullets and double click them to name them. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new bullet and call it Legacy. Then you can drag and drop your note cards into the proper categories. Sometimes it is challenging to get your card exactly where you'd like it. Use the arrows to help you move the card to the correct spot. You can see how the last card I dropped and dragged wound up as a new Roman numeral, which is not where I wanted it. So I simply click on the card and use the arrows to determine where I'd like it to go. If you have a thesis statement, you can also add it to the top of your outline. Lastly, to quickly navigate back to your bibliography, perhaps to add more sources, use the menu options at the top. And that's it! Note-taking has finally reached the digital age with EasyBib's notebook tool.